Welcome back, my children, to another Yu Gi Oh! Blister Packs opening. I will be opening five blister packs that I got from Rite Aid. These two are the newest ones. They only contain one pack, unfortunately, but uh, they do have the 15 cards like, like normal. These are from years ago, so they're not newer than these. But yeah, so this one contains one pack each and 15, 15 cards, just like the other ones. And their legendary duels, duels from the deep. Then I have two that have. One of them has two invasion of chaos. This one has one and a different pack. I, I think I I know which one, but um, I'll look into it. And then this one has two other packs as well. This one are two random ones. I'm not too sure. I think this one is speed duel. But yeah, anyways. I'm not good get right into it i'm gonna start with the newer, newer ones just because it has one pack inside i mean i am gonna be first opening all of them and just putting everything on the side so i mean doesn't really matter i guess all right so first pack right here okay let me uh fix this actually quickly damn it the holographic was right there but whatever all right next blister pack i gotta be careful i don't want to ruin the card here we go and this all right Flip that around. There's a second stack. Leave that there. Now for Invasion of Chaos. Cool. So the next, the other pack is B Duel Arena of Lost Souls. Pretty cool. Anyways, uh, flip these around. Does it show the holographic? No, it doesn't. Okay, good. This one is backwards this one too right there next one so this one has two invasion of chaos pretty cool all right now just flip them around this one seems pretty old i mean a little bit this one too i don't know if you guys can tell the color Anyways, put this that there. Okay, I gotta put this out. There we go. Next one. This is the last one, and then I'm gonna be opening them. So the packs are Speed Duel Attack from the Deep with Kaiba on it and Dual Power. Pretty cool. Got that out. Alright. So we gotta fix this round. Alright, so I'm gonna be starting off with this stack right here. So let's see, what do we have? S Force Specimen. There's the effect of the trap card. And there's the picture. Pretty cool. I'm not too familiar who's S Force. I think this might be my first time seeing them, or maybe my first time noticing them. Anyways, there's a Watt Train, it's a spell card. There's the picture. There's a little monkey right here conducting the train. I think I see something else, or maybe it's its elbow. It's kind of hard to tell. And there's the effect for the Watt monsters. The Watt monsters? Yeah, the Watt monsters. Anyways, there's a Heavy Metal Falls Amalgam, Amal, Amalgam, I believe. This fiery looking dude. He looks actually very cool. He has two swords. He's missing one in his mouth, like Sorrow. Then he's a oh cool, he's a physic link effect monster. And you need two metal foes to um, be able to summon him. Anyways, next card is P 
Prometeor, Prometeor the Burning Star, a 678 star monster. It's just a bunch of flames in the form of a human, I, I believe. It's a machine, apparently. I would think it was going to be a pyro. And yeah, there's Dre Effect. Pretty cool card, I guess. Next is Marincess Cascade. And there's three Marincesses there, I'm assuming. And they're showering, or I don't know what they're doing, but yeah. So there's the effect of the trap card. It's a normal trap. Next is Evoltile Mega Charella, Mega Charella, or something like that. It's a reptile. Pretty cool looking reptile. And it's a fire monster. I like it. It has two wings on its head, I believe. Oh no, actually, that's his back. Never mind. Alright, next card is Gladi Gladiator Naumachia. Naumachia, a continuous trap card. So there's some gladi gladiator beasts marching in the water on a boat. There's the effect of the card. All right. Next is Chobam Armor Dragon. Something like that. And some like machine looking dragon looking thing. And yeah, it's a dragon. And there's the effect. Alright, next card. Where's that? Raging Storm Dragon. Um, Beaufort IX, which is 4, I believe. No, wait, that's 9. Never mind. 9, not 4. Looks very cool. I like how it looks. Looks the design and whatnot. It's a Dragon rit Ritual Effect Monster. 2800 attack and 2800 defense. And there's the effect, of course. Alright. Oh wow, the same card back to back. Alright, so skip those two. Then there's our gun can such such ship daily special. This is like a restaurant menu, I'm assuming. There's a trap card. There's the effect. It's for gun can monsters, I think. I don't know. Anyways, there's a slower swallow. It's a little bird with a a little messenger bag full of flowers. It's a pretty gay bird, I'm assuming. I'm not quite sure. It's a winged beast effect monster. It has 100 attack and 100 defense. And it will swallow you whole, I'm assuming. Anyways, it's a pretty cute bird though. I like it. And it has a little hat as well. All right, next card is flying red carp. Close to looking like magic carp. From Pokemon but it's a fish potentially a very useless fish it has 500 attack and 500 defense okay the holographic is big sea water of the yang sing and like turtle old man um, potentially like some sort of line with a tail looking creature and he looks very, very old. Probably born like 3,000 years ago. It's a worm effect monster. Interesting, it's pretty long effect. I'm not gonna read all of that. Its attack is a zero and 2,000 defense. But it looks pretty cool. I like him. All right, and for the rare, it's a Wicked Breaking Flamberg. Uh, bow, 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 bow. It's a equipped spell card and is used from one of the evil guys from Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, I forgot his name but the blonde guy who defeated Yugi. Anyways, that's the first stack. Next stack. Let's see what's inside here. There's Armor Dragon Ritual, a ritual spell card as this uh, warrior looking guy showing the clouds the light his sword so that he could kill more enemies and there's his uh, effect pretty cool next card is wind witch blizzard bell a very fat looking ornament 
I mean, it makes me think it's an ornament because of like the little thing it has in its head. It's a spellcaster tuner. It has 1800 attack, 1800 defense. Pretty cool. There's the effect. Next is what is that? Spring Springens Coal. Springens Coal, something like that. Looks very cool. I like how there's a bunch of characters in that card there's like these machine looking guys there and then there's these humans different artwork and whatnot she has like some type of cat or fox ears i i'm assuming and then like a hoodie with like rabbit ears looks pretty cute and there's the uh effect of the spriggan springans whatever you call them Next card is Seraphim uh, Papillion. Papillion. It's a tiny little like moth with huge wings. Looks pretty cool though. And there's it's an insect link monster. There's your effect. All right. So next. Whoops! I dropped that. I'll pick it up later. There's our Marinesis Battle Ocean, a field spell card. It's like a underneath the ocean and it's a battlefield kind of like pokemon in a way anyways there's the um what's it called the effect next is escape of the unchained that's a very nice artwork two like evil characters that uh unchained themselves and now they're gonna go for destruction and potentially kill you in your sleep and there's the effect of the unchained monsters very cool i really like that artwork very sinister looking all right next is gladiator gladiator beasts come back and it's this gladiator beast um i'm assuming screeching for sound i mean for help screeching for help and there's his effect all right Next card is Bye Bye Damage, a normal trap, not sure, not sure how it works, but there's the effect, it's a pretty cool artwork, anyways, next is Param, Parametal Falls Melcaster, I like the, par the Parametal Falls, they're pretty cool, so it's a, somewhat of a little girl riding some ride, some fut futuristic ride, and it's a f physic pendulum monster and i guess spell as well it has two effects which is pretty cool all right next card is this patch parasi this patch parasi something like that so basically a camera in form of a monster paparazzi or you know taking pictures of celebrities and whatnot that's a paparazzi 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 there we go it's a faint link monster there's the effect pretty cool looking card and weird as well it's a and now this card is a gun can such such chip such chip ikura class dread not not or whatever is that like a sushi Does it in form of a, a ship it actually looks very cool so there's the caviar, there's the rice, there's, uh, I think, cucumbers, some leaves. That looks very cool. That's a nice artwork. That's an Aqua XYC monster. There's the effect. I like it a lot. All right. Next card is Monster Assortment. So it's like a, a bag of a bunch of monsters and whatnot pretty cool like collectibles maybe like patches or pins whatever they are and there's the effect very cool uh, another very nice artwork All right next is um what is that chrono chronomon chromonali chromonali temple uh trilithon trilithon i think it's a continuous spell card it's just some ruins at night and there's the effect 
I thought I, I thought I said drama. I say stama. Anyways, okay, cool. The holographic is a shadow impulse. A normal trap. It's a very nice picture. I'm assuming this might be like the shadow. Just different color. And not a black, of course. But, uh, it's for synchro monsters, apparently. Anyways, next card is security block. I like the, the design of it. He's green, he's red, and then his shield is red and his shield is green. Pretty cool. It's a quick spell card and there's the effect. All right, that's two stacks already. So next stack, I'll do the one on the left. So let's see, first card is the Phantom Knights of Tomb Shield. A normal trap, there's the effect. Just some shield with like blue flames, I, I guess, and chains on it. Next is a Super Ancient Dino Beast. That's pretty cool. So some like old, dinosaur i'm assuming a very ancient dino beast apparently shooting um some type of beam out of its mouth it's a dinosaur yeah dinosaur here we go that's it for it Ooh, mystical space typhoon a very classic card a quick spell and there's the effect a very difficult effect All right next card is mythical beast Medusa. Is that like some type of squid? It's a spellcaster pendulum monster. There's both the effects it has as a spell as a monster. Both 1500 attack and defense. And yeah. Pretty cool card. Anyways, next is Sinet Storm, a field spell card. It's kind of hard to tell what it is, just like the web maybe, and like some tornado. There's the effect for it. All right. Next is uh, Glefenir, the feathers of Fenrir, 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 something like that. And there's the effect. Some type of beam landing maybe. Ooh, um, Beige Vanguard of Dark World. I really like the Dark World monsters. They have very cool, sinister, cool, badass looking designs. It's a fiend, and there's the effect, and it's attack and defense. Then there's a uh, eradic eradicating aerosol, a spray. Destroy all insect monsters on the field, and it's from Speed Duel. You guys can see the speed duel logo here anyways and there's offerings to the doomed a quick spell as well a pretty old card as well there's the effect next is ultra evolution pill and from speed duel as well there's the speed duel on it as well so pretty cool Anyways, next is Link Slayer. That's a nice looking card. It's uh, some person suited as uh, like some type of big cat. I like it. It's a Siberian monster. All right, next is Pitted Moth from Speed Duel. A monster from Weevil. An insect, of course. Pretty cool card. Next is Jinso, a very powerful card from Joey. And obviously it's a machine. And there's Jinso. Okay, next card. UA Mighty Slugger. It looks like he's playing baseball with light, I'm assuming. And it's a warrior. Looks pretty cool. All right, let's see what's in the back. Another rare. Unfortunately, no holographic for this stack. It's a junk arch anchor, anchor. And some like 
little machine with screws. It's a warrior tuner monster. Zero attack, zero defense. And there's it. All right, next stack. So let's see. The eye of the truth. You cannot lie to it because it will show the truth. So there's the effect and it's a continuous trap. Next card is Infer Infernoid Sh Yet Yet. Not sure if the S is potentially silent or the J maybe. Anyways, it's a fiend monster. Looks like a pretty cool design. And there's the effect. It looks like it's formed out of a bunch of shields. That's kind of how it looks like. All right, next card is C Metal Tank. A machine union used by Kaiba himself. Very cool card. Next is Die Dance. Is that what DD stands for? Because I know those. She's a DD monster. Anyways, uh, he's trying to take her out to dance and she's cringing because he's obviously very cringy looking. I know this is a specific card as well, uh, a different monster himself. Anyways, there's the effect for it. Next card is Mermail, uh, Abyss Long, Abyss Long, something like that. Some fat looking Mermail with shields on his arms. It's a fish. Of course it is. And there's Chainsaw Insect. Another, another insect with chainsaws as its um, fangs. It's an insect and yeah, pretty high attack for a four star. And there's a heraldic beast unicorn. And it's a beast, pretty cool. And it's a unicorn, kind of looks like a dog as well. All right, next card is Hinotama, a very old card. There's the effect, very easy to use. Next card is Horus, Horus the Black Dra Flame Dragon level four. And it's a dragon, another old card. Next is Salvage, another old card. I think Mako Tsunami used this card. I'm not quite sure, I don't remember. And it's from Invasion of Chaos, one of the packs I'm gonna open later. Next there's a uh, Goblin, the Berg or something like that. It's a warrior, it's a goblin on a plane. Next is Call of the Archfiend, a very cool looking card. I love how it's taking this uh, like skull serpent looking guy into hell potentially it's a continuous trap there's the effect anyways next card is debunk they debunk every theory that you ever heard of it's a counter trap and there's the effect and it's a pretty funny looking picture oh i just see there's a ninja here they sliced up their items i'm assuming Okay, cool. This uh, is a uh, holographic, a super rare, Kish Kishki Vision. It's a sea serpent. Pretty, pretty cool. My first time seeing him. Next card is Metal Reflects Slime. It's a continuous trap card, and it's from Battle Pack something number one, basically. There's the effect. As you guys can tell, it's a rare card. It just, uh, it's instead of like silver letters, it's black letters. So yeah. Anyways, next pile and the last one, of course. So let's see. First is Shadow Core, a continuous trap. So it's like a Shadow monster, I think. I see some figure here kind of hard to tell what it is maybe a person riding a dragon there's the effect of that card 
right next card is shinobi ne necro i like that card i like how it has like a skull skeleton looking body and it's a zombie tuner makes sense since it has skeleton looking body anyways next card is heroic challenger extra sword i mean it only has two swords so i don't know where the extra sword is potentially in his pants then there's the effect next card is Salomon great gift a continuous trap card kind of looked like the uh, digimon i forgot the name of the digimon but it looks kind of like a digimon anyways there's the effect of the card next is divine serif i mean divine serpent gah gah whatever you call it that one monster from the anime that has infinite attack and defense apparently but it doesn't show it here unfortunately but there's the very long effect next is oh cool blue eyes toon dragon from the starter deck pegasus the very very old deck you guys can tell from the text that it's very old compared to the text of now not compared to this one very cool looking very nice card very classic all right next card is armed dragon level five it's a dragon a very cool dragon i like it next is vivid knight a bunny form of a knight of course it bounces and then it stabs you to death it's a beast warrior and looks very cool indeed next card is final attack orders a continuous trap there's your effect and it's a another old card as well next is gear fear gear freed the sword master a card from joey from i believe the movie if i remember correctly it's a warrior looks very cool a very cool card all right next card is leeching the light so some person leeching the light apparently there we go there's the picture and there's the effect next card is uh dra dragon dragodies dragodies the empowered warrior or something like that kind of looks like a little kid in um in a costume of a dragon but yeah there's the effect it's a warrior pendulum apparently look trying to be a dragon it literally has dragon in the name anyways next is a set up set set up or cut set up or cut it's pretty cool i like the picture it has this little big chunky fellow punching this big monster and it's a trap there's the effect a normal trap oh who is this dragon core hexer Damn, that artwork looks very cool. It's some like a uh, girl in a blue black dragon costume. Uh, this has like gills on it and the sword. And it's a normal monster. It's a dragon tuner. It looks very cool. Damn, 2300 attack and 3000 defense. That's so cool. There's the, um, what's it called? Text for the card. Very, very nice. My first time seeing the card. It's the first card out of this set. Not sure what set that is. But it looks so cool. Very badass. All right, next card. Ally of Justice, uh, Garad Hulk. Garad Hulk, I believe. 
It's a holographic, super rare. It's limited edition. I think it might be from a tin. Not quite sure. Or something like that. Or a special, what's it called? Special edition box. But there's the effect and it's a machine. Very cool, very shiny. I'm gonna leave this one at the very top because I like it a lot. All right, I'm gonna put this stack over here. And now to open the packs at last. So I'm gonna start off with the Legendary Duelist Duels from the Deep, both of them. So I don't care about the pack anymore. All right, so um, let's see. Torrential Tribute, a normal trap. Then there's, ooh, there's the rare Bahamut Shark. It's a Sea Serpent XYC. There's the effect. And there's the artwork. Very cool. All right, next is, who's that? The Legendary Fisherman 3. That's very cool. There's the artwork. That's the Legendary Fisherman evolved and there's the other very long effect but yeah it's a very cool card next card is marinesis wonder heart so it's a siberia's link monster with a very long effect once again and there's the artwork for the marinesis awesome and the last card is the legendary fisherman a very classic card from Mega Tsunami. And let's see the difference between the first one and the third one. A very big difference. This one looks more realistic. But I do like the shark on this one more. Anyways. Next pack of the same pack. All right, so first card is number C101, Silent Honor Dark. It's an Aqua XYC. There's your effect. And there's the artwork of the monster. Next is a, a, a rare card, Marinesis Circulation. A very cool card. I don't remember if I already pulled this card or not, but it looks very nice. And there's the effect of the trap card. All right. Next is Rank Up Magic Quick Chaos. A continuous spell. There's the effect of the card. And there's the artwork. Very cool. Anyways. Next is Buzz, Buzzsaw Shark. A fish monster with a very long effect, just like the other long effect monsters. And there's the card. Very cool picture. And it has sauce in his fins. And then the last card is Lemuria, the Forgotten City. A field spell card, which counts as Yumi. This card is always treated as Yumi. And I know this because I have this card. It's a pretty cool card. Anyways. Put that there. All right. So let's see, which one do I continue with? I want to do dual power just because I don't remember how it is. I want to try opening this one very nicely. I want to save the pack. Okay. Okay, gotta be careful. Damn it. Oh, great. Whatever. I messed it up. Okay, I think these are all holographics. So there's Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss. Pretty cool. It's very shiny. There's the effect. It's a Dragon Synchro. And there's the artwork. A very red dragon. Look at the shininess. Anyways, next card is 
Necros of Unicorn. I see what it did there. Instead of Unicorn, Unicorn. Pretty cool. And it does. he does have like a horn on its head. So it's a Spellcaster Ritual Monster. Pretty cool. And there's the artwork. It even has the tail of a, a horse. Looks very nice. At least I think it's a he. Could be a she. Kind of hard to tell. Because of the pink long hair. But yeah, there's the artwork. Anyways, next card is Thunder Dragon Thunder Stormek. Stormek. It's a very cool card as well. Some parts are very a little hard to tell, but yeah. It's a Thunder Link monster. There's the effect, and there's the artwork. Very nice card. Anyways, next card is who's that? Uh, Herod, Herod Tick, Dragon of Tefna, Newt or not? Newt, I think it is. That's the artwork of the of the monster, the dragon. Some very skinny dragon. Potentially hasn't eaten in a in a bit. And it's a dragon, of course. There's the effect. All right, the last card is X Y C Change Tactics, a um, continuous spell. I'm not quite sure what that is. Is that like a sword or like a shield or like a field? A location, kind of hard to tell. And there's the effect. Anyways, that's it for those cards. Put those on top of here. All right, I'm gonna continue with, actually let me open one of the Invasion of Chaos. Oh, uh, I'm gonna try doing the card trick here. Not quite sure which one. I'll put these, oh, these three to the front. All right. So I've seen all these cards multiple times, but I'll let you guys see them properly. So Thunder Crash. It's a normal spell. There's the effect. There's the artwork. Then there's a uh, Chopman, the Desperate Outlaw. It's a uh, zombie. There's the effect, and there's the monster. Then Earth Chant, a uh, field spell. There's the artwork and this effect. Then there's Blazing in Pachi, a pretty cool card. And there's the uh, text and it has 1850 attack for a four star monster very cool anyways uh Bo boganian a little eye monster with a spear spear it's a machine there's your effect next is a uh, primal seed a normal spell i think that's black luster soldier yeah it is there's your effect Anyways, next is Grand Maju Da Isa, a fiend monster. There's the effect, and then there's the artwork. Next, ooh, I got this from the stack over there. Uh, Ultra Evolution Pill. Oh, I, I forgot that it came from this set. So there's the effect, and there's the, the card, the artwork. And this one is a rare. Anyways, next card is Lord Poison. There's the artwork and there's the effect. All right, I'll leave these here just cause they're older set. Next, I'll do a speed duel attack from the deep. Let's see what I can get. I wanna open this one nicely as well. I'm gonna try, Never mind. Alright, uh, should I do a card trick here? No, I'll just do it like that. Anyways, uh, 
the Jinn Desarrayer of Rituals. There's the card, it looks pretty cool. It has a skull on the shield, and there's the effect. And it's obviously Speed Duel. All right, I'm gonna put this one here, I guess. Then there's Emma, Amazon is trainee. A little girl training to be an adult Amazonist and kill you. There's the effect. A teenage girl, most likely, I'm assuming. There's the Speed Duel logo. Very nice. And there's, is that like a cat or a dog? Infernity Beast. It's kind of hard to tell what that is. But yeah, uh, it's a beast, of course, and it's a front speed duel. Anyways, next card is Goblin Zombie. And it's a zombie, of course. Then again, there's certain cards that say, like, dragon, and they end up being, like, a machine and whatnot. So yeah, anyways, put that there. Oh, I forgot. I'm supposed to put these here. There we go. Okay, now I'm gonna go for another Invasion of Chaos. So let's see. So I'm gonna do the same. Three to the front. All right, so there's a uh, Gran Granadora. There's the artwork of the card. Pretty cool looking monster. There's the uh, effect. It's a reptile. All right, next is um, Soul Absorption, a continuous spell. I like how there's a bunch of spirit monsters and whatnot going through this body. And there's the effect. Very cool. Then there's a uh, Chapman, the Desperate Allah again. There's the full card. Then Jade Insect Whistle, a normal spell. There's the artwork and there's the effect. Next is um Amphi Amphibious Bugroth MK3. There's the artwork, very cool artwork, and then there's the effect. It's a machine. Then uh, multiplication of ants. The multiple ants there's only three six seven eight of them and there's the effect oh my goodness are you whoa a secret spell i mean secrets rare that's insane did i get this already um in one of my previous openings I'm trying to remember. I know I got, uh, what's the name again? Damn it. Chaos Dragon, I think is the name. I got another secret rare, Invader of Darkness. Whoa. It's a fiend's um, monster. While this card is face up on the field, your opponent cannot activate quick spells, quick play spell cards. That's insane. Look at the, there's the attack and defense. And the number is 111. My favorite number. Well, 11 is my favorite number. But regardless, it has another one. So that's incredible. That's insane. Very beautiful card. Very secret rare and very... Like, uh, hard to pull, basically. That is very, very cool. Very badass. That's a very nice card. I'm gonna leave it on top of here. Alright, next card is Berserk Gorilla. Another very cool card. A gorilla spitting fire out of its mouth. And there's, a, there's the effect. It's a beast. Of course it is, and it's going berserk. And then the last card is um, Dawn Turtle, a very old turtle, I would assume. And there's the effect, it's a reptile. 
That's insane. All right. Next pack is Speed Duel Arena of Lost Souls. All right. First card, Block Attack. A very um, simple card. There's the artwork and there's the effect. There's the logo, Speed Duel. There, there's a uh, Magician C Knight. A very cool magician card. A spell card. There's the effect. There's the logo. All right. Then there's Snake Hair. The Snake Hair. A zombie normal monster. There's the text for it. Very cool. And the last card. Unfortunately, no holographics for the Speed Duel. But this is Common Charity. There's the effect, the logo, and I think there's like a separate card on its own, the monster, the guy here. But yeah, anyways. And now for the last pack, can we end with a hollow? Now it would have been great if I chose the other one last, but I'm hoping this one has something good as well. I'll have to see right now. So three to the back. And starting off with Ojama Delta Hurricane. There's the Ojamas spewing this hurricane out of the three of them. There's the effect. Then there's Soul Absorption. I've seen this card already. There's the whole card. And there's Granadora once again. There it is. Then Soul Tiger. A very cool soul tiger there's the artwork and there's the text and it's the high defense of 2100 and zero attack then primal seed once again next is inferno there's the artwork and the effect next card oh we ended with a hollow trap jammer a super rare even super rares are not easy to get from older packs that's a continuous spell i mean continuous trap it even says trap in the name so yeah trap jam jammer that's the shininess of it very very nice and there's the effect. Oh, and this one is 110. That's actually very cool. So first is this card, number 110, and then this one, 111. So they go together like this. That's very cool. I think this is the both my both uh, for both of them. It's my first time getting each of them out of this pack. To be honest, I'm not quite sure about this one. I think I might have gotten it another time, but, we're, but whatever. Still very, very cool. All right, leave them there. Then the rare is a Curse of Darkness. A continuous trap card. The artwork is very cool. And there's the effect. Then the last card is Terror King Salmon. There's the text. And yeah, that is it. So great opening. Got two very cool cards and a bunch of other stuff. And that is it. I don't want to make the video much longer. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you like the video. Comment down below what you guys think. And I'll see you guys in the next Yu-Gi-Oh! opening video.